Hi guys, today I'll be showing you how to make Ensei Mada. This is a long process but the end result is worth it. So come along with me and I'll show you how to make it. I've got 3 fourth cup of warm water, 1 cup of all-purpose flour, 1 tablespoon of yeast, and 1 tablespoon of sugar. In a bowl, um, combine the warm water and sugar. Give it a mix. Then add the 1 tablespoon of yeast. Let this proof for about 10 minutes just to make sure that the yeast is alive and bubbly. So after about 10 minutes of proofing, we will add 1 cup of all-purpose flour and then we will let this rest in a warm place for about 2 hours. After 2 hours, I've got 4 yolks, 1 cup of all-purpose flour and 1 fourth cup of sugar and our yeast mixture. So all you have to do is combine all the ingredients. So add the 1 fourth cup of sugar. The 4 yolks egg yolks. 1 cup of all-purpose flour Mix it first, then later we will use our hands to um, make sure that everything is well combined There you go. Use your hands to just to make sure that everything is well incorporated. And then again, after this is done, we will let this rest for another two hours. I know this is quite a long process, but the end result is worth it. It's quite sticky actually. Again, we will let this rest for two hours. So after two hours, I've got half a cup of butter, four egg yolks, one for cup of sugar, all-purpose flour. I'm using a stand mixer, but if you don't have a stand mixer, you can use a handheld mixer. So just beat the butter. Then slowly add egg yolks. Mix this well, occasionally scraping down the sides of the bowl. Once everything is well incorporated, I'll add the sugar which is one fourth cup and then at this point I will switch to the hook attachment if you don't have a standard mixer well you can use your hands at this point Now slowly add the one cup of all-purpose flour.
scrape down the sides of the bowl. At this point, we are ready to add the yeast mixture that's been proofing for two hours. Then just knead the dough. Here I added half a teaspoon of salt and then this is the half a cup of all-purpose flour. After adding um, the half a cup of all-purpose flour and you think that it's still sticky, just add flour like a little bit at a time because you don't wanna put too much flour thus making your dough too stiff and hard as for me um, that half a cup of flour that I just added is enough now we will knead this again for about five to eight minutes until it's smooth and elastic I'll show you what it looks like once we get there. And this is now ready. So in a clean bowl with um, a little bit of oil, I place the dough and let it rest for 30 minutes. And this is what it looks like after 30 minutes. Now I lightly floor, floor my work surface and then this is the dough which I'll cut in half and then I set the other half for later. Working half a dough at a time. Cut, I'm it weighs about 37 grams but actually um, you can make it as big or as little as you want but I'm using a mold which is quite small so I just work around on how big my uh, mold is so cut your dough to how big or how small you want it to be. See that's 37 grams. Now we're ready to roll the dough. Using a rolling pin, just flatten your dough as thin as you can. See 
how thin it is. Using a brush, just lightly unbutter the top of the dough. Then, sprinkle some cheese. Not a lot, a little goes a long way. Then, roll it like a Swiss roll. Just like so. And then, roll it like a spiral shape. And then, this is my mold, which I lightly um, brush with butter. I'll show you um, one more time. what the enzimada looks like now I will let this rest for 30 minutes at this point I will preheat the oven as well and this is the other half of the enzimada so after 30 minutes the enzimada has doubled in size using a straight-up egg which I'm whisking right now I will brush the top with this egg wash now we will bake this at a preheated oven for about 12 to 15 minutes or until the top is golden brown bake it at 180 degrees as well And this is what it looks like after baking. Now it is important to let this cool down completely. Now I'm showing you two ways how to finish the enzimada. And this is the first one. Using a brush, just butter the top. Then roll it into um, sugar just like so do this to the rest of the enzimada then grate cheddar cheese on top At this point, you're ready to eat the enzimada. And this is our finished product. That's my son's hand pointing. <laughs> And then this is the other way. I've got I have half a cup of butter that I'm mixing. Then I added a teaspoon of vanilla. Then I slowly add the powdered sugar, which is one cup. And then I continuously beat this until 
um, the mixture comes together and it becomes smooth. Put the buttercream on top of the ensimada. Once you've done putting the buttercream on top, the next step is to grate the cheese. Quite generously. And this is our finished product. And just to show you what it looks like inside, when you slice it in half, Thank you for watching. Bye.